So it's another day. I went to work. I am home. I'm thinking about running over to Home Depot because I wanted to probably get, I don't know, one or two plants, maybe some flowers. Um, I read that a blah, blah, blah. I read that a few sorts of flowers actually help keep away bad bugs that eat vegetables and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go look at those and Alex might come over later. John has band practice today and it's gonna be just a relaxed fun day. He's an emoji. Okay, I'll sit here patiently while you find some food to feed me. Isn't that right? So I'm over at Walmart and I'm by myself. I'm in the garden department and I probably look like a crazy person, anybody walking by, but these are the plants that I decided to go with. I'm going with green bell pepper. I'm going with marigold because that's the type of flower that attracts bees and I think it also helps keep away some pests. And then a uh, red cherry tomato. Okay, so I'm home from Walmart and my Amazon package came in the mail and this is what I got. I got some really cool gloves and these are like gardening gloves and look, there's like claws on it. It's supposed to like help you dig. I also got this long red shirt thing. Hi Mochi, there's no treats. To wear over leggings. I also got Hubby Wubby. Some pop figures or funky pop or whatever these are called. I got him some of these. He really likes this movie, Zootopia. So I got him the little characters. He is not home yet, so he doesn't know he's got this. And it's teacher appreciation week at work. And look how many pretty flowers I got. So pretty, so pretty. Can I help you? So I don't think Alex is coming over after all. He has to go do something with a friend. That was Mochi making weird noises. My bestie Claire loves cats and so does her son. So I found this really cute grumpy cat. <laughs> Can I help you? Okay, so I found this really cute book starring grumpy cat. It's adorable and it's actually like a gold book collection. And I also got this one. It's about a duck, a pigeon, and a cookie. And you know, what kid doesn't like ducks and cookies, so. We ate dinner, watched some Netflix, and now I'm out in the garden because it's finally like cool enough outside. It's time to add more things to my garden. All right guys, let's get started. pepper that right there's tomato that one's a yellow zucchini and this one is green and squash so I thought I could have a little sit down powwow hey hey it's like they choose the moment I hit record on the camera to like hey let's be like cuckoo Milo, you need to be nice. So I wanted to have a sit down powwow and I wanted to talk about the keto thing and my weight loss stuff and kind of where I am with that. So the first month of keto, I did really well. Like the first month and a half, I lost 20 pounds, which was great, like 21 pounds. And then all of a sudden it was like, my body just didn't want to lose weight anymore. And I don't know if it was like, just water and I'm just not getting enough water in and I know like I keep saying I'm gonna get more water in but I don't know why it's so hard for me if you have any suggestions on what to do besides putting an IV in my arm please let me know and it's hard for me because I work in a school and I work in a class and it's hard for me to leave the classroom to go to the restroom and to refill my water so that's the struggle I'm still eating good. I'm still <laughs> corgi hair. I'm still eating good. I'm still eating clean and high fats, you know, some proteins and vegetables and no, almost no sugar. But I'm really scared to get on the scale because I feel like if I get on the scale and I don't lose or I stay the same or worse, I gain, it just puts me in this 
horrible stressed mood for the rest of the day. So imagine that you get on the scale every day and every day you either stay the same or worse you gain a little bit. I just, I started to go insane. I started to just be stressed and want to cry and just want to quit. So I decided I'm not going to weigh in every day because I don't want to have that feeling and I don't want to stress myself out and just cause a ripple effect of where stressing myself out causes me not to lose weight. I think I'm limiting myself to just once a week, telling myself it's not all about the scale. And I need to measure myself because you can see so much change in just your measurements and not even lose a pound and I need to do it. Okay, I've been rambling for a good long time. So, for, 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 geez. So that's just my keto update. Just letting y'all know, I'm still eating keto. I am still trying. I am still very slowly losing weight. As for every journey, there's ups and there's downs and there's struggles. So I think I'm just going through a struggle. But if I keep doing the right thing, I'm sure I'll go in the right direction. So I'm gonna play some videos on the computer of dogs barking and howling and I'm just gonna see how Mochi reacts. You see them? They're singing. <laughs> He's like, I'm not okay with this. I'm just not gonna look. What are you doing? Oh my. Where are they? Hey, hat. Where's the puppies? You want a good vantage point? So I only have a second because I'm running late and it is Friday morning and thank God it's Friday. And summer is only like three weeks away so that is super exciting. Woo, woo. Came in here for something. I came in here for something. I came in here for something. So I'm really excited because I'm wearing this shirt that I haven't worn in a really long time. And I used to like loathe wearing the shirt because of the way that it fits. And it's gray and it's a light color and it just shows everything. So it's not super form fitting anymore. It's kind of baggy in the front, which is awesome. I turn to the side. It's not too bad. Oh, too close. Zoom out. So before like you could Definitely see my stomach. You could see where my belly button was and I'd have to wear Spanx anytime I wore this shirt But now I'm not wearing Spanx. I'm just wearing some like comfy pants. Oh, sorry alarm to go But yeah, I'm just wearing some comfy pants and I'm just wearing this shirt and it's okay and it It's awesome. I'm excited. Well, I gotta go to work now alarm, um, but I will vlog when I get back Hey Claire hey. Guess where we are Getting pedicures Last time we got matching colors by the way, this place is super nice. It has a chandelier in the front, which is awesome. Okay, so I just got back from having my fun pedicure with Claire. So let me show you my toesies. Here are my bright pink toesies. And here are my bright pink hens. It looks orange, but I promise it is bright pink. Hi Milo. You want some pets, Milo? Guess who else wants the beds? So, Claire and I got our toesies done, and then I went to her house where we ate a little bud cake, and I split it with her because I got it from a student. And as you can tell from me eating the bud cake and everything, today is a cheat day. This is my second cheat day ever since starting keto almost two and a half months ago, three months, uh, I lost count. So I had to come home to let John use the car because like I said before, we share a car and she's gonna go pick up her kid and he's going to his daddy's tonight and me and her are gonna go have a girls night. Maybe go to Cheddar's, have a margarita because today is the Cinco de Mayo, so it's the perfect day for chips and queso. And I know, why are we going to Cheddar's? Why don't we go to like Gringo's or some Mexican place? But honestly, they have chips and queso at Cheddar's too, so margaritas chips and queso. That's all that matters. On a separate note, John got some Hue lights and he completely 
surprise me. But I got home and John's lamp was pink. And I was like, what? So I called him and I'm like, okay, what happened? He's like, um, wait for just a second. So I wait for a second. And next thing you know, he starts changing all the lights in the living room. So he got Hue lights. And honestly, Hue lights are awesome. Like I was really, really wanting to get some Hue lights, but they're just kind of expensive. So for him to like, spend so much money on light bulbs i was like oh, geez it's fine i'm really excited i actually want to get a couple more for the bedroom but let me show you the light behind me colors this is so cool you know i really like purple so i like that i can put it to like whatever color purple i want there's two more lights on the desk and like I've showed you in a separate video, we have a couple's desk. We have a light on my side, we have a light on his side, and then we have a floor lamp. The only reason we don't have a light above us in the like center of the room is because it's like an older house with weird light bulbs and they're not like the average like silver part on the bulb. It, they're tiny. It's really weird. St. Patrick's Day at my house, biatches. Okay you guys, well. If I don't have time, or if I just don't feel comfortable pulling my camera out later today for Cinco de Mayo drinks with my friends, then this is good night. So, good night, and I will see you later, and thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe, and kitty. Hey, eh, you can't reach. You can't reach. Oh, yeah. Oh, who's the good kitty? Oh, yeah.